Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys every single part of UMiami's campus. How's it going? My name is Ashton Herndon, and I'm back as your little tour guide today. But, as always, I promise you that this is no ordinary tour that you would get from these guys. I mean, after going to over 25 different colleges, I've definitely toured enough campuses by now to be considered a professional tour guide. But, little did you know that this iconic tour guide that you all know and love was seconds away from looking like this. I know. It's some pretty crazy shit to think about. I mean, when it comes to picking the right college, the campus is by far one of the most important parts of making your decision. And even though I didn't actually end up going to Miami, when I went to go tour the campus, I took this place very seriously. When I was in high school, I would endlessly wander the streets of Coral Gables, trying to put myself in the shoes of somebody that actually went there. But even after wandering every part of this beautiful campus, I still didn't feel like I knew where the real college students would hang out day to day. I mean, I would go home and watch endless YouTube videos of these amazing tour guides showing the most aesthetic parts of campus. And after seeing just how amazing this place was, I was ready to take UM head on. I mean, I went to every single place the tour guides told me to go, and I had the time of my life doing it. But after visiting every single spot the tour guides told me, I realized very quickly that these places aren't where the real students go at all. And I started to question if UM was really the right place for me. And that's why I'm here today. I know that there's a ton of aesthetic campus tours out there that give you loads of information, but all these tours aren't very genuine, and they're kind of boring. So I'm here to show you every single part of UM's campus, the good, the bad, the ugly, and I'm gonna try and do it in less than 10 minutes. So I'll meet you in the car to give you guys a little rundown. Oh hey, fancy seeing you here. So obviously UM's campus is very gorgeous with all these unique and aesthetic buildings, but there's a lot more to the structure than just a couple pretty buildings. I mean, the campus is structured in this balloon-shaped formation, and even though it seems really confusing, let me just walk you through it here. So on the bottom right side of the balloon, you're gonna find your more people-driven side of campus, where you're gonna find your more social colleges like education and business. Towards the top of campus, you'll find everything that has to do with STEM. In the middle, you'll find all your artsy colleges and all the iconic landmarks. And then on the bottom left, you have all the student housing and sports fields that don't don't really fit in that balloon shape we're talking about. But you know what? It still works. And now that we have all the basics covered, it's time to go on a little campus tour. So coming in at our very first stop, we have the iconic UM statue. And honestly, you've probably seen this place from all the students taking pictures here like... Wow. But this place isn't popular for no reason. I mean, it's located right in the heart of campus, so all around you're gonna have your iconic places like the University Green with all your modern sculptures, the official bookstore where you can pick up all your newest cane merch, and if you head towards the bottom of campus, you can check out a whole ass art museum. Like, what? Right at the bottom of campus, you're gonna find the Low Art Museum, which is home to a wide range of art pieces, from modern artists to glass blowers, and really anybody out there with a true eye for aesthetic. And I mean, whoever designed this place, they have a damn good eye for aesthetic. Right outside the museum, you'll cross right over the river into what may be the prettiest part of campus. This is what I like to call the extroverted side of campus, so all around you're gonna find your people-driven colleges like the School of Communication, School of Education, and the Herbert Business School, which looks like a futuristic version of Miami. I mean, you have the super modern courtyard, a waterfront view, and the prettiest fountain I've ever seen in my life. Nah, I'm just kidding. Y'all ever seen Westcott before? So once you cross over the beautiful Feldenkrais Plaza, you'll enter the only part of campus where you need at least a 1500 SAT to be anywhere near. But if your SAT doesn't make the cut, don't worry. I got a special video for you right here. I mean, come on. I've made that joke in every campus tour now. You had to see it coming. This is very obviously the STEM side of campus where you're gonna find all your science buildings such as the College of Nursing, College of Engineering, the Frost Institute for Chemistry and Molecular Sciences. Oh shit, that's a mouthful. And right at the top of campus, you have the Knight Physics Building, which in all honesty, kind of looks like a building out of any high school in Florida. But you know the one thing that this place has on any high school out there? A whole ass arboretum right behind your classroom. And I know that's not how you say arboretum, but it sounds better in my head, so just stick with me here. Located right at the top of campus, you have the Gifford Arboretum, which really makes you feel like you're in a tropical rainforest. From a wide range of tropical trees, wildflowers, native critters, and everything in between, just simply spending 10 minutes in this place will make you want to dive right into some biology, which is kind of perfect, because the Cox Building is right next door. I mean, the Cox Cox Building is kind of the iconic place on campus for all the sciences. And even though they have all the cool animals and statues on the inside, they have the best study spots on the entire campus. I mean, just look at the aesthetic here. You can't beat that shit. But since you're in Miami, most of the time it's gonna be way too hot outside to study. So 90% of the year, you're gonna be studying in this bad boy right here. The Richter Library is by far one of the coolest libraries I've ever seen. And whether you're studying for a test, learning some Spanish, or even just watching one of your favorite YouTubers in the game, Richter's the best place to dive deep into anything you may need. But speaking of diving, this place has a cool looking pool right in the middle of campus. It's some pretty cool shit. 
I know. But if you think this place has a pretty view, then this side is really gonna give you a run for your money. And I mean, considering everything else you have around it, this side of campus is really the place to be. Right outside the library, you have the iconic Shalala Union, which really is the center for everything around campus. I mean, on the outside, you're gonna find your iconic buildings like Guzman Concert Hall, Vermont Theater, and the beautiful School of Law. And when it comes to the dining options, woo, buckle up, cause y'all are in for a treat. I mean, you have a Panda Express, Pollo Tropical, Starbucks, Subway, or if you're looking for something a little more local, you could check out the Rats Keller, which has been on campus for over 50 years now. So I mean, this place is about as local as you can get. So this is the Macklemore Center. And to be honest, I have no idea what goes on in here. But it does have the same name as the guy who sings Thrift Shop, so I thought it was kind of funny. But if you do want to make some real music on campus, then the Frost School of Music is the perfect place to be. I mean, right now, we're on the bottom left side of that balloon where you're going to find the more artsy colleges on campus. And whether you're making songs for the School of Music or designing buildings across the lake at the School of Architecture, wherever you go, you're going to find a bunch of talented students that just can't be beat. But speaking of getting beat, that's something that Miami does extremely well. Ah, uh, get it? Because they suck at sports? I know, I know. I'm letting my inner seminal show here. But you know what? Just stick with me. Right at the bottom of campus, you're gonna find everything that has to do with athletics, such as the practice field, where you can practice your fumbling, the Bank United Center to watch a basketball game, and the Herbert Wellness Center, where you can get a nice juicy pump in. And if you need a little bite to eat after a nice workout, you can get yourself a nice protein shake from the Lakeside Village. And I'm not gonna lie, this was supposed to be a smoothie, but the damn Smoothie King's closed today. So instead, we're sticking with the water. Located right off of Lake Osceola, Lakeside Village really is the place to be as far as student life goes. I mean, this place is packed with apartments, so all around you're gonna find things like a volleyball court, these comfy looking swingy things, and my absolute favorite part, you have daybreak right outside your front door, which is by far the best breakfast place I have ever been to in my life. So if you see this place around campus, definitely don't sleep on it. Cause it's straight gas. And now that we have everything covered Wait, wait, here, wait, wait, wait. You forgot the dorms. You do this every oh, time. Oh, shit. What? How in the hell? All right, how much time do we have? You have 30 seconds. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's meet around these dorms here, starting off with... Eaton Hall, Walsh Tower, Rossboro Tower, Stanford Commons, Centennial Village, which I mean, isn't exactly done yet, but it looks like it's gonna be very nice. And last but not least, we're right back where we started at the wonderful Lakeside Village. All right, we good? Yeah, we're good. All right, then we'll meet you guys back in the house here in three, two, oh. Oh, hey. So now that you've seen almost every part of Miami's campus, you guys are ready to take this place head on. I know the college tours can be a super stressful process to go through, but hopefully this video helped to take a little bit of that stress off. And I saved you guys about four hours in doing it. So with that being said, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do respond to every single comment, so if you have any other questions or video ideas, make sure to leave them down below. I do have a playlist of everything you need to know about college, so if you want to go check it out, it'll be right here. And if you want to join the family of over 10,000 subscribers now. Damn, that is insane to say. You can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. And I will see you guys next week.